OK, here we've got a hypothesis testing question. OK, make sure you read all the, the, the words. The claim we're testing is the mean age is 35 years. So you need to start with a null hypothesis, which is always mu equals something. And you've got to think a little bit about your alternative hypothesis. If we're, if we're going to reject the claim that, that, that uh, the mean is 35 years, what's the alternative option we're going at? Do we have a preference for being less than or greater than? Or is the alternative simply that going to be that mu does not equal 35 years, in which case it will be a two-tailed test? Having set those up, you've then got to work out your test statistic. And you need to think about whether you're calculating a Z or a T. The fundamental rule is that when you're working with a sigma, a population standard deviation, or coming from the variance, uh, it's a Z. And if you're working with an S from a sample, then it's T. So you need to look at the variance or standard deviation that you're working with and think about whether that comes from the entire population or just from the sample of people that's been collected. Um, if that you're finding that decision hard, sometimes a large sample can come to your rescue, because for large samples it can be forgivable to use a Z when really it should be a T, um, whereas you can never get away with using a T when really it should be a Z. So assuming you've worked out your Z or your T, you clearly need to use your 1% level of significance, together with whether it's one-tailed or two-tailed, get your feasible region, make a verdict about H0, but then you must interpret that in context. So you're either going to be judging that there is evidence of something, or that there is no evidence of something. And in either case, you need to decide whether that evidence is supporting or, or, or casting doubt on the claim that's been made. And then finally, in part B, we've got to explain the meaning of a type 2 error. So maybe we've made a type 2 error, maybe we haven't, maybe it would have been impossible to. What would a type 2 error have been? You won't get two marks for just um, quoting the standard definition of a type 2 error. You've got to do it in context. So you need to talk about what conclusion you would be drawing about this claim about the mean age being 35 years, and what the true state of affairs would be. So you need to say um, what the conclusion would be and what the truth of the matter would be uh, in the context of the question, and that should get you two marks.